here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit the like subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend here we have another crazy story another crazy story this story right here is about your Gotti. you know what just happened to his big brother big joke you know i believe big joke is a certified known um you know um gangster or criminal for being out these those streets you know he has a um he has that reputation you know it's, i'm not saying that's a good thing but you know he does have that reputation but here's what i can't figure out right here his little brother his little brother yo Gotti. that little sh that little down syndrome looking guy i don't know where he get his mouth from i'm not calling him down syndrome looking to be a funny or offensive i'm just going off what his um his um black youngster said his um his artist his down his down syndrome looking ass said it just like that nothing against down syndrome people know what i mean here i go here we go but the point i'm trying to make is yo gotti yo gotti be talking like you know he's the biggest one to do it since scarface you know even though scarface is made a person but you know what i mean i said it before i'm gonna say it again the way god um yo gotti be talking is like you know, he talked like um, selling cocaine is legal. He's talking like, you know, doing all these crimes is perfectly legal. And and all these little young kids is hearing it. And, and, and it's messing up your mind. It's messing up your mind, naturally. I remember when I was a young fellow, I used to listen to, um, to, to cash money. I used to feel like if I wasn't riding on 20 inch rims, I was nothing. It was a terrible thing. It was a terrible thing. So I went above and beyond to try to get some money, get... Yes, I'm driving some 20s. It was a terrible thing. It was a terrible thing. So you have your guy. Your guy's been a rapper since maybe a teenager. You know, your guy's never been to jail before, to the best of my knowledge. Actually, I know he hasn't been to jail before. I would have heard about it. I would have heard about it. Your guy actually graduated from high school. I don't know what gangster has ever graduated from high school. Think about that. Yo Gotti, Yo Gotti sings the most um, gangster raps. You know, he, not the most, but one of them, you know what I mean. But he graduated from high school. How are you doing all this stuff in the streets and still have time to do your homework to be able to graduate from high school? That doesn't make any sense. And if you was a and, a and a real gangster, no real gangster is gonna want to go to school after the age of probably fourteen years old. That's it. After fourteen years old, a real gangster is not gonna want to go to school anymore. But there's no way you could be a real gangster and you and you're in the streets and you graduated from high school. That means you wasn't really in the streets like how you're supposed to be in the streets. How you have time to do your homework? A real gangster's not gonna do homework. A real gangster's not gonna have a book bag. You know, he'd probably have a pen so you can get a phone number or something like that. But how are you gonna be a real gangster selling all those drugs and you were able to finish high school? That doesn't make any sense to me. On top of that, no guy went to college. What real gangster goes to college? You know, that's unbelievable. I'm a gangster, I'm in college? No, you want to be a gangster. You're a pretender. That's all you are is a pretender. Okay? And the reason why you feel so comfortable, you got to feel so comfortable about talking about all these drugs and this and that because he's no, he's not doing it. He know he's not participating in that lifestyle. So he's going to talk about it as much as possible. Like how all his songs, he's talking about killings, this and that. Not as much now since his young Dolph passed. Let's see how he's going to be talking once his brother, I mean, on his new song, since his brother passed away now. But the way Yo Gotti talking, like he's the biggest gangster in, 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 in you know, in Memphis at least. I would think the National Guards would be out there by now because Yo Gotti mad. But it's not like that. Your guy is a small man who became successful at a very young age, never committed any crimes. Well, I'm sure he probably ran, a, he probably drove over the speed limit. Yeah, he probably did that. Let me not say he didn't drive over the speed limit. He probably went 26 in a 20 mile, 
you know, 25 miles per hour. So he probably went over by a mile. He probably did. But besides that, I don't believe Joe Gotti have ever committed any other crimes. But when you listen to his music, wow, you will say, whoa, whoa. Every day I go out, he say, I'm, I'm risking my freedom. I'm risking my fence. No, you're not. You need to stop lying to people, brother. I know you can't sleep with yourself, especially since your brother dead now. You know? You out there talking all this nonsense out of your mouth. And the knife is true. I can't figure it out. Now his brother gone. He ain't do nothing about it. It's been over a week. Not saying he's supposed to do anything about it. But he's the biggest gangster in the world. The way he talk. You know, you would think you'd hear that. You know, your old guy, he's doing his work. You know, he's behind the bars right now. Because he, you know, he's tearing the city up. It's nothing like that at all. He's a good boy. He graduated from high school and he's just a pretender. He never been in the streets a day in his life. I don't believe so. Because it's like this right here. If you were in the streets and making as much money as your guy pretend he was making, why would you need to start rapping? That doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to be making millions and millions and millions of dollars every year, every week, the way he's talking from, from doing what he do. Why would he need to rap? It's all made up. I just feel sorry for all those individuals who are behind the bars right now because of your old guy. He thought he was a real one. He's not. He's just a real good actor. Real good actor. I think his career might be done right now because everyone's going to see that he's a phony, he's a fake, a facade. Not promoting any violence. But when I listen to his music, I can't even listen to it around my kids because it's so violent. Unbelievable. What happened to his brother was because Yo Gotti's been polluting Memphis and the airwaves for, for, for years. Almost 20 years, maybe over 20 years. All those kids grew up listening to Yo Gotti make you think it was okay to sell cocaine and it's okay to kill people. But Yo Gotti's not doing any of those stuff. He's just getting shorter every day and he's just saying a lot of nonsense out of his mouth. That's it. Till next time, guys. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we go, here we go.